What's going on there guys? Good Friday evening. It is the Earth Master here on this beautiful night, uh, April 22nd, 2022, about 7 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 3.7 earthquake into the area of the, uh, looks like the Southern Middle America Trench. Let's go ahead and check out this activity on the latest map here from the USGS. Looks like it's in that area off the coast of Nicaragua, uh, Nicaragua where we seen that movement here just a couple days ago, that larger scale earthquake. Looking at the last seven days of movement. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's right smack dab there. So a little bit of aftershock sequence uh, activity following that uh, large quake there on the uh, 21st, so yesterday. What else we got here? That one's actually still pretty deep. Look at that, 72 kilometers into the, uh, like I said, the southern end, it looks like, of the Middle America Trench. So still quite a bit of pressure regionally in this area of Costa Rica northward. All right, west coast. Go ahead and check out the movement up here into the Washington area. We're starting to see things pick back up a little bit. Nothing significant. Uh, just a couple of earthquakes around the Mount St. Helens region and also uh, around Mount Rainier. Some earthquake activity up here around the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Uh, mostly all micro, it looks like it's all microquakes, some negative quakes as well. A couple of query blasts throughout the uh, state of Washington as well. Looks like uh, one earthquake up here, or actually two earthquakes here in the Sisters, Oregon area. We haven't seen too much movement here in this area of the volcanoes. 1.1 uh, and 1.1 negative depths there, so very shallow earthquakes. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the Three Sisters volcanic seismicity map. See what we got going on. Looks like this is just north here. Um, north of the region where we're looking at that bulge of uh, uplift. That was down here towards the southwest. So let's see if we can get at least one of these seismographs to ring up uh, correct data. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see here. We'll check out this uh, early this morning and this afternoon on the husband view up there it's a three component broadband bhc station and uh there we go wow i did <laughs> can't see anything here um doesn't mean that there's not earthquake activity occurring it just kind of looks like it's blown out of uh proportion a little bit let's check out the wife uh three component broadband station as well bhc station and these guys look about the same. I'm not for sure what's going on with that. It's possible maybe these earthquakes here, the 1.1s, were just a little bit too small to even be showing up on any of these seismographs. But uh, just kind of, kind of glancing at it. Yeah, hard to say. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, the USGS and the PNSN network all reporting just a little bit of earthquake activity outside of Bend up into the mountains there around the Three Sisters region. Uh, Northern California, not a whole lot going on through the Cascadia. Uh, eastern part of the Sierra Nevada is still kind of spotty. Uh, the movement along the San Andreas Fault Zone kind of came to a halt earlier this afternoon, so no further renewed movement on the creeping section there. And uh, Southern California, what do we got down here? Majority of these earthquakes uh, from earlier today. Earlier, much earlier. So it looks like the swarm has died off almost completely there in that region of Southern California. Texas getting some uh, much needed rain out there in parts of Western Texas up here around Midland Northward. As far as earthquake activity goes around Pecos, a couple twos and maybe a three or so in that mix of uh, earthquake activity. Oklahoma pretty quiet. The New Madrid zone and the eastern part of the country all looks pretty quiet as well. No further renewed movement here in the Caribbean uh, aside from that. Uh, let's see. I think this earthquake was here this morning. We, yeah, it was. 4.0 was definitely there. So I haven't seen any further activity in the Puerto Rico area. It looks uh, like it's kind of just dying off a little bit. South America has remained quiet. Look at that. Zip zero. 24 hours of activity shows nothing down there. The earthquake activity on the Big Island kind of lighten up a little bit here on both sides, west and east side of the Big Island. A couple earthquakes here within the last hour. One earthquake here out, uh, outside of Mauna Loa, the west side 
about 10 kilometer depth there and one way up here look at this earthquake uh, 2.3 so a little bit of activity around Kilauea no major activity to report uh, as far as any changes go there at the volcanoes uh, movement up into Alaska of course last night they had that uh, 5.3 come in since then we've seen a few small few small earthquakes aftershocks or no not really too many aftershocks in there huh although if you look over here it looks like a little activity around these volcanoes here I believe this is the uh, uh, Davidoff volcano region showing a couple earthquakes in that area kind of want to see if we can bring up the uh, see if we can bring that up here real quick Uh, we'll check out the Alaskan Volcano Observatory, see if these guys are reporting anything new in the area. Let's see. Current volcanic activity. Looks like we're still at the... Uh, stand by for just a second here. want to make sure I am getting the right one. I'm pretty sure I am. I'd just like to double check and make sure... Uh, considering this is a uh, active volcano up there in this region see a little horseshoe bend That's exactly right here it's still at the orange watch level uh, but that's actually this one over here what is this they don't really have anything listed on here so yeah kind of crazy I'm gonna look into that a little bit more see what's going on seismograph stations um, All right, we're going to have to get back in that. I know they've had a swarm here. I think it was a couple months ago when that thing kicked up. Let's see what they look like for the past 30 days of movement. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of swarming, but I, I know there was definitely a lot more in this area. So we'll, we'll check it out. Uh, I'll get back to you on that uh, as far as that update goes in this area. Uh, Kurokamachaka Trench and the Japan Trench all looks pretty quiet. I know there's a little bit of movement out around the uh, uh, Krakatoa volcano. Uh, but far as any significant major volcanic activity goes, let's check out the uh, USGS weekly report. There's the central Kamchatka. This was, uh, when was this put out here? looks like eruption start date was back in uh, 2010 for this volcano. A uh, little bit of effusive eruption uh, continued during 8, 15 April. Looks like that may be uh, a little bit of older data right there, a week old. Krakatoa. Few ash emissions, it looks like, from the uh, Krakatoa volcano around the 15th. Uh, a couple small eruptions there, it looks like, of ash plumes. Alert level looks to be remaining at uh, level two on a scale from one to four. Public was warned to stay at least two kilometers away from the crater. Probably makes a good amount of sense there, right? Uh, a little bit of activity there in Costa Rica, it looks like. Looks like submarine uh, April 13th to uh, April 19th, it looks like. The water continued to convect and was light gray in color. So a little bit of heightened activity at a couple of these volcanoes. Costa Rica. All right, uh, let's see, checking out the earthquake activity into the Indonesia region, uh, Philippines. Still seeing some movement here along the Philippine Trench. A couple deep ones in there as well, about 55 kilometers or so. Uh, we did see a pretty good sized earthquake over here in this area of the world, around the uh, Bosnia area. 5.7 kicking up here, lighting things up in the yellow in the pager department. Quite a few folks did report filming this earthquake within the region. Uh, lighting up the map here, looks like some moderate to possibly strong shaking with that earthquake, which was uh, relatively shallow at 10 kilometer uh, depth there for that earthquake. Looking at the historical map, shows uh, no doubt some uh, 
earthquake activity here since about 1900, four to fives. It looks like maybe five to six magnitude earthquakes within the vicinity as well. So uh, no stranger to earthquakes out here. Atlantic Ocean looks pretty calm and quiet, at least as far as earthquake activity goes. 4.7 in the South Sandwich Islands. And uh, we'll check out the Yellowstone activity here real quick, which uh, has been kind of spotty. Seen a couple small microquakes throughout the region of the uh, northwest corner of the park up here and also into the Little West Thumb Grant Village area. Just a couple very, very tiny small earthquakes, uh, but really nothing to write home about at all. Uh, solar weather department here. We'll check out, of course, we've got these massive sunspots coming along, right? Some pretty big sunspots facing Earth, but uh, right now they're just kind of looking at us with their uh, with their <laughs> glorious spots here. Um, dynamics of these right now, it's hard to say. You know, there's definitely potential there for some more M-flares. X-flare probability possible as well. Uh, and, of course, we've got some more growing sunspots around the bend. And uh, I think this still stands pretty decent. 99% uh, chance of C flare. M flare at 75% chance. And the X flare remains at 25% uh, percent chance here from these uh, sunspots that are just kind of just kind of kicking back, right? We did have a. Uh, when was that? That was earlier this morning, I believe, the uh, secondary M3.4 uh, that kicked up there on the chart. But uh, right now, things are just kind of. Kind of going down, right? Just going down just a little bit below the three, the uh, sea level threshold. But don't let your guard down, right? Do not let your guard down oh, whatsoever. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, I think that's about it, folks. I was going to do a question and answer show with Missy Mimi's tonight, but we're going to... Uh, she's working on a little project, so she's not able to be on the uh, live stream tonight. So we're going to shoot for tomorrow. We'll do a Saturday night uh, question and answer show, probably around 7.30, 8 o'clock tomorrow time, West Coast time. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I was just looking at some of the uh, uh, DX conditions here. These are basically uh, long distance communications that are normally not possible under uh, you know normal conditions, low sunspot conditions, but with the uh, high amount of sunspots, we get these uh, DX conditions here in, in the certain bands, 28 image MHZ, uh, which is a ham operator band up here, showing uh, some pretty good communications down to the New Zealand area and Australia from the west coast. And also it looks like some uh, super long distance here to the South America region. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat to look at. Uh, of course, it, it, it gets very active. It can clutter up citizen band radio and all sorts of stuff with uh with the skip conditions when they come in like that most of the time here along the west coast we get people from uh, uh mississippi alabama chicago and uh that area the midwest when the skip conditions roll in I heard them over the past couple days here on the uh, cv radio all right guys i am going to jump off of here and uh, we'll see how this plays out i mean it just kind of looks like a uh, calm friday night for now uh there is some threes going on down here in the south america region of course the usgs not showing that right 4.0 and above for them only but the emsc model definitely showing a little cluster of quakes there around the uh, chile area into the center part of the peru chile trench and some continued movement of course there uh into the southern end of the middle america trench here where we've seen that uh 4.1 and a couple other smaller earthquakes there in that region so just kind of watching it kicking back here uh we'll be uh we might pop back on here a little bit later on just to say hi uh gotta gotta at least get missy mimi's on here once uh, a little bit later on that way she can say hi and whatnot so all right guys have a good night we will chat you a little bit later peace out